Well, this is it. We have to say goodbye to Tony now after 27 years on the desk. But before we go, we want to thank you for the memories. I was working in television. It was my first television job. I'd gone from uh, radio news uh, into television news. I had two job offers, one here and one in Detroit. I came here, and this, this was it. This was the right the right place. It didn't take me long to discover that this station, KY3, was a class A uh, quality operation with really good people. Tony Beeson has been a part of this winning news team for a significant period of this level of dominance and we wish him an awful lot of good luck in his future endeavors. I wish you well, my friend. I hope all the best for you in your new adventures. Good luck. God bless you. Congratulations. When Tony and I were on the set, Tony as anchor, uh, he was very uh, nice about my forecast, when sometimes they weren't too great. Tony, I miss you. I miss working with you. I miss the laughter. I miss your calm demeanor. I miss your sense of humor. Thanks for showing the rest of us type A broadcast journalists that you don't have to be one to do great reporting as well as have a great run behind the anchor desk for a lot of years. I worked with him for, what, oh, 14 and a half years, I believe. And I must say that he's conducted himself as a gentleman all of that time in his work, all the way through. Viewers are watching the news. You don't want somebody who's all scrambled eggs. You want somebody who has it together. And Tony has always had it together. And that's what we're really going to miss about him in the newsroom and on our air, is he's somebody who has always had it together. Listen, Tony, as you advance into the next part of your career, I wish you all the best of luck, and I hope to run into you often. We're sure going to miss you, Tony, but we wish you and Carrie all the best, and we can't wait to see what happens next. What more could you ask than to be accepted by a lot of people to the point of where they feel comfortable just first greeting, the first time, to walk up, and we're like old friends. I'm going to miss, it feels like losing an extended family. He passed through this way, and he left a little footprint that hopefully engendered something in someone to that makes their life better. first came here years ago it was to be an adventure a place to stay for a while get a little taste and then move on but nobody bothered to tell me that I would fall in love with the Ozarks and the people it has been an honor to be invited uh, into your home and to be invited again and again until it became an open door policy that is a privilege and trust that you do not violate I want to thank my family from Alabama and locally for being here with me mom dad um, and I just like to say that it's whatever poet said parting is uh, is so, such sweet sorrow it's not sorrow for me it's sweet because the sweetness is the memories the faces the places that you take with you those never go away so at least for now so long